well-known Chicago area rapper was killed in a drive-by shooting early this morning in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. 31-year-old Tristan Hamilton was shot multiple times. According to the Sun-Times, he raps under the name FBG Cash. A Southside rapper was killed this morning after a gunman armed with a rifle opened fire on his car. 31-year-old Tristan Hamilton performed under the name FBG Cash. Police say he was driving near 81st and Ashland when the shooting occurred. A 29-year-old woman who was asleep in the car was seriously February 21st, 2022. Tristan Hamilton, also known as FBG Cash, would add fuel to an already burning flame. Coming from Chicago, he was a member of the Flyboy Gang, aka FBG of the SLT EBT set, and was at odds with other gang factions throughout the city, one being the Black Disciples in the renowned area Parkway Gardens, also known as O Block, formerly known as Wick City. FBG Cash, in an attempt to taunt Little Dirk, one of the biggest Chicago artists targeted as his rival, he disrespected the passing of his close friend and non-biological brother, King Vaughn. King Vaughn had passed after being shot in Atlanta by a gang member known as Lil Tim. FBG Cash would post a picture of his mural with the middle finger along with the caption, whole world witness your main sniper get his shit splacked. A dangerous game to play, but he played it nonetheless. March 18th, 2022. Lil Durk responded to the disrespectful gesture in his song, Computer Murderers, reciting the lyrics, sneaking pics by Vaughn's mural, like bro won't come out and spin. FBG Cash would continue mocking Lil Durk and his affiliates, making a rebuttal of the same instrumental and again disrespecting the passing of King Vaughn. Somebody remix back again. How you got to fuck somebody that ain't got nobody yet? When Vine got his clap, you had us thinking he was stressed, but he did. And also taking aim at Lil Dirk's late brother, D Thang, as well on his song Back Again Two Times. Arriving a few weeks before his tragic end, FBG Cash was involved in a situation where bullets were sprayed into the car he was in. What's eerie about the situation is that he would be in the exact same setting that would take his life a few weeks later. In the first instance, FBG Cash opened up about the altercation in a rare interview on the Drea O Show. FBG Cash recalls being at the home of a female companion at around 4.20 a.m. in the morning. Not only is it normally a decision frowned against by those of the gang culture, due to the possibility to be set up, but the female companion was in a relationship with another guy and he kept calling as if he knew she was being promiscuous behind his back. I was at her crib at like 4.20 in the morning. I had this left rap a lot. So I was sitting at her crib and shit. Then a, a guy kept on calling her phone. I'm on call, call, call. So I'm like, shit. I'm like, oh my God, he started calling. I'm like, who? He's like, my boyfriend. Reading the situation, FBG Cash and the female decided to leave as the boyfriend had a key and she was fearful he might come over. She was like, I hope he don't come over here. So like my girl was sitting right here, but see when he got keys to your crib or something? She was like, yeah, damn man, he said, yeah, I forgot I gave him keys. They got into her vehicle. The windows were slightly tinted. So FBG Cash reclined the passenger seat, making it hard for him to be seen. And they were off to his place. So I'm like, yeah, I want to get up out of here. But I had parked my car, so I get in the car with her, boom. So that man, her tent's light as hell, so I raised my seat all the way back. So fucking we got off, we was on my way to my crib. But things soon took a turn for the worse. The female would make a statement, a very telling one. Oh my God, why are they always on me like that? Thinking she was referring to the police, FBG Cash scanned the area at a stoplight, realizing it wasn't them. He turned back his attention to his phone. Then when gunfire erupted, blowing the back window out, they would speed off. FBG Cash armed himself and they drove to his place. And she was like, oh my God, why do you always own me like that? My first, like my gun like this, I always sit on my gun and shit. I'm like, I might ask the police. She's like, no, they ain't the police. So I looked up just a little bit through like, 
Oh, and the police went back in my phone. Boom. <gasps> well, damn. He boom. So I'm like. It was only then he realized he may have been shot in the arm. Luckily, after getting a scan at the hospital, it turns out bullet fragments were lodged beneath his skin, narrowly escaping a situation that could have gotten a lot worse. I'm like, I went to my OG crib. I'm like, damn, take this down. So it, it was feeling like swole right here. So right here, if you touched it, I thought like, damn, that's a bullet in there. I'm like, that's a bullet. It feels like fluid maybe or scar tissue. But I can't really say because I had went over a tattoo, so nah, or it's fragments. Yeah, I, I went right to the hospital. So I x-rayed it, it was like, it's not a bullet in there, like, we could see fragments. Suspicious the female companion may have set him up, FBG Cash cut off contact with her to preserve his own well-being. This at 421. At her house? This at 445. In that situation, life was foreshadowing something waiting to happen. It was up to FBG Cash to adjust his lifestyle and movements and heed the warning. But maybe pride played a part in FBG Cash repeating the same mistake later on. And this time, the assailants didn't miss. June 9th, 2022. Approximately 23 hours before FBG Cash would lose his life, he spoke with fellow Chicago rapper Rico Reckless at around 4 p.m. via video call. FBG Cash told Rico Reckless he's in the rack, also known as Chicago. Rico Reckless, trying to be the voice of reason as his friend, told him that's not a good decision and he should go back to Houston where his music career was on the rise. FBG Cash, however, flashed his firearm, a Draco, and informed Rico Reckless that he was armed and will be fine. Rico Reckless, knowing the danger FBG Cash was in, given the rivalry in the city, again tried to talk him out of his decision to parade himself in the streets of Chicago. Unfortunately, he failed in persuading FBG Cash, and that would be the last time they ever got a chance to talk. He called me. I'm, I'm in like, I'm driving from Cali from Los Angeles to San Diego. When the car, when the car, Cash called. He, what's up, gang? I'm, what's up, gang? I'm like, where you at? He's like, man, I'm in Iraq. Hey, when you just in Houston? He like, yeah. He pull out a Draco with a, with a clear kill. Yeah, I'm in Iraq, but I'm good though. I say straight up as a brother, as a friend, I say, man, bro, I ain't gonna lie, Scud. That don't mean nothing. Everybody got them bitches, Scud. Man, go back to Houston, Scud. They was showing you love out there. You was out there in Rolls Royce. You was shooting your videos. And you was, and he was going somewhere, even though he had to make hella diss songs. Like, but he was going somewhere. Like, and I'm like, bro, get back to that good environment, Scud. Chicago snaked out before they backed over. Like, the following morning, June 10th, 2022, FBG Cash was in a vehicle alleged to be a 2020 Ford Edge with another female companion at approximately 5.30 a.m. in the 1600 block of West 81st Street. Reports state after driving around, the woman was asleep while FBG Cash was in the passenger seat and a black four-door sedan pulled up, after which an assailant got out an open fire hitting FBG Cash multiple times. In a fight or flight attempt, FBG Cash is reported to have drawn his handgun and returned fire before the assailant made their getaway. Police officers would respond to the shooting. They would arrive to find FBG Cash's vehicle parked in the middle of the street at 1627 West 81st Street and Tristan Hamilton, also known as FBG Cash, unresponsive, face down in the grass. At 1623 West 81st Street, the female was observed seated on the curb, bleeding. The area was immediately cornered off, and traffic on that street was blocked. Video clips would emerge, giving glimpse of what transpired. Lying on a stretcher by the grass were paramedics trying their best to resuscitate a lifeless FBG cash. As one eyewitness said, they still trying to pump back dude. I think dude probably still breathing. And another responded with, he hit in the head, man. He's gone. They still trying to pump dude back. I think dude probably still breathing. He in the head, man. He dead. The female passenger was shot in the left arm and upper back. Both her, along with FBG Cash, were transported to the Christ Hospital, where unfortunately, 
FBG Cash was pronounced deceased at 6.06 a.m. At the scene, 23 spent handgun and rifle shell casings were recovered. The female companion, whom was with FBG Cash, was interviewed by Officer Ron Rodriguez and she detailed from her perspective what happened after shots were fired. She stated she observed the suspect's vehicle fleeing the scene westbound from the location of the shooting. The suspect demographic detailed descriptions of the person of interest being a black male between 5 foot 10 inches and 6 feet 2 inches. His clothes at the time were black gym shoes, black jeans, and a black hooded sweatshirt. News hit the public where friends, family, and rivals heard of FBG's Cash's demise. Well-known Chicago area rapper was in a drive-by shooting early this morning in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. 31-year-old Tristan Hamilton was shot multiple times. According to the Sun-Times, he raps under the name FBG Cash. A 29-year-old woman with him was also shot, taken to the hospital in serious condition. It is believed Hamilton fired back at the shooter. Police don't have anyone in custody, at least not yet. Rico Reckless, would get the word of what happened after their conversation the previous day, and he reveals some rare insight into what's allegedly being said about the incident. According to talks that have been passed on among those in the Chicago gang community, the bullet wounds inflicted upon the female companion in the vehicle were done so by FBG Cash, speculating the female might have played a role in setting him up. He tried to also take her out as well before he died. And the dad, like 5 o'clock that morning, I had a conversation with him like 4 in the afternoon. He died 5 o'clock that morning. And like, I ain't like it between me and you, but shit, well, come with shit. Like, you was loose as hell. You trying to ride around with shit in the rack. Come on, bro. Ain't no doing that, scud. You know better. Like, these will set you up. They'll wet you up. But well, I do respect this about scud. They say that when he knew it was over for him, he looked at the and clapped that. FBG Cash was too entangled in the gang culture to change his life and pursue his career away from the danger of Chicago. Sad that the same situation that nearly stole his life just a few weeks earlier was again the same situation that cost him his life. Just about two years prior on Tuesday, August 4th, 2020, his friend and gang affiliate, FBG Duck, was also a casualty to the streets. Hamilton was part of a group of rappers known as the Flyboy Gang. Nearly two years ago, another member of that group, FBG Duck, was killed on the Gold Coast. His real name was Carlton Weekly. Five Chicago affiliates of O Block were apprehended for the hit, and it was labeled as being due to gang rivalry. Five members of the O Block Street Gang, a faction of the Black Disciples, arrested and federally charged with committing in aid of racketeering, Charles Liggins, Kenneth Robertson, to Carlos Alford, Christopher Thomas, and Marcus Smart, all residents of Chicago. They are Charles Liggins, also known as C. Murder, Kenneth Robertson, also known as Kenny or Kenny Mack, to Carlos Alford, also known as Los, Christopher Thomas, also known as C. Thang, and Marcus Smart, also known as Muwap. YouTube journalist channel Duck Case, who earned viral recognition for their detailed breakdown of FBG Duck's case, revealed comments over the internet of persons who allegedly were present and saw the suspect responsible for FBG Cash's hit. One person allegedly there said, I heard a guy say he's still laying in the alley, after which he watched a guy run into the alley and let off more shots. Another alleged witness states, Watch a dark-skinned guy with dreads stand over the poor guy and let shots off, man. R.I.P. Another video would surface online showing the aftermath of the shooting. A group of persons in the background, along with the video recorder, can be heard speaking of the incident, and this is what can be made out from the audio. One person said, The lady that's standing on the corner there, she just ran off. Another person agreed. Then another person revealed an important piece of information. She said she went back to the car and got that gun. So if what she said is true, it seems that there are a number of factors at play that may be pivotal to the investigation. Time will tell how justice unfolds. The turn of events was unfortunate. There's no end to the bloodshed in the culture of gang rivalry. The losses continue piling up and both sides only celebrate for a time because their friends, brother, family, may just be next. Rest in peace, FBG Cash.